Hello and good evening. It's Victor Echo 3, Papa Charlie Pop here, Rob in Tiverton, Ontario. And uh, we're doing a bit of a video uh, today. Uh, many years ago I built uh, a, a two light SWR indicator for uh, 300 ohm twin lead or balanced line. So I dug it out today and kind of rebuilt it and uh, got some new sockets and stuff for it. Not sure how well you can see it there, but it's uh, basically two uh, threaded uh, small uh, small lamps, and uh, the sockets are connected to uh, a six-inch long strip of 300 ohm twin lead. Um, the circuit diagram, I'll just put a link in the description below on where to find that so you can see the circuit diagram, but there's a six-inch piece of 300 ohm twin lead that's taped to the main feed line. The uh, bulb closest to the uh, transmitter or, or the antenna tuner will show forward uh, power and this one here from, uh, this closest to the antenna will show reflected power. Um, these are 6.3 volt lamps so uh, at 80 meters the, with a 6 inch long piece of, uh, of 300 ohm twin lead it doesn't generate a lot of voltage for them. So we'll turn this lamp off here and you're going to be able to see it. So we're kind of already tuned up here on 80 meters and we'll show you uh, how it changes from band to band. The antenna is a half wave uh, dipole on 80 meters and we're feeding it with 300 ohm twin lead uh, through the VS300A tuner which has a 4 to 1 ballon built in. So here we are on 80 meters, nobody on this frequency, so our antenna is tuned pretty well. So we come over here and look. You can kind of see just a faint, faint glow on the uh, on the one on the forward but nothing on the reverse so um, I don't know if, uh, if we had lower voltage whether we'd see lower voltage bulbs I'm not sure whether we'd see much on the reverse or not um, again this is just an, an indication of of uh, relative SWR not necessarily an accurate measurement of it but uh, it gives you an, an indication at least so um, on 80 meters of course with an 80 meter dipole uh, in an inverted V configuration. It's going to be somewhere around 50 uh, ohms. So with 300 ohm twin lead, you're probably looking at 5 to 6 one SWR. So it's not extremely high, especially for um, for a balance line. For coax, of course, that would be that would be a killer for sure for performance, but not for balance line. So we'll switch to 40 here, and you'll see quite a difference on the lights when we, when we do it up here. So I've got some presets here on my tuner. Just need to turn it to that, and uh, that'll get us in close. We'll have to tweak it a little bit, of course. So there we are there. We're on CW mode here. So as you can see, we just got to tweak it just a bit, and uh, it gets us kind of up, up to where we want to be. So we're running about 100 watts there. So you can see on these lights now how the forward light is, is illuminated, but the reverse uh, is significantly brighter, relatively speaking, of course. So the SWR on, uh, on uh, 40 meters, of course, is quite a bit higher, and that's because a half-wave dipole on 80 ends up being two half-wave uh, antennas on 40. So the impedance on the end of a 40-meter or a half wave dipole of course is very very high so so you're not going to to see as, as good an SWR but of course with the, with the balanced uh, line it's not going to be such a such a uh, a drastic measure because you, your your losses just aren't aren't as high on balance line as they are, would be on coax so so we're on 20 here and we'll see uh, what we can do here uh, we got to do a little bit of tuning here, of course. Turn our SWR bridge down a little bit here. So there, we're pretty pretty flat there. Again, around 100 watts, and you'll see the uh, forward light is illuminated brighter than the river, than the reflected light. Again, it's very close. It's hard to see, but but the SWR is, you know, relatively high. But but we're still getting, you know. Uh, good forward power. So that just shows you the difference in the antennas when you change frequencies. Okay, so again, it's one of those things where we'll try 15 here as well. Uh, I do have presets for 15. 
if you don't have a tuner, uh, you're missing out on a lot of opportunities for uh, for, for playing with antennas because they're they're just uh, absolutely awesome for being able to uh, to load up you know whatever you want and and uh, you know have have some fun and you can load up a, a fence if you want to but uh, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend uh, recommend that because you might uh, might have a bit of an accident with somebody maybe getting a little tweak off it but okay so we're we're on, on 15 meters here. And again, see the SWR has changed significantly again. High power on the forward and virtually nothing on the reflected. So uh, as, as far as SWR is concerned on 15, the antenna system uh, is pretty good. But of course SWR isn't everything and radiation patterns on, on that long of an antenna at uh, 15 meters would would be uh, pretty pretty different, that's for sure. So we're back here to to 40 meters and I just want to show you a bit of a difference between between the uh, um, between the uh, the zap and the vertical we'll see if we can find a couple of decent stations here this sounds like there's a bit of DX happening And I find that the uh, so that's on the wire, and I'll wait till he comes back here. The the vertical is is quite a bit noisier. You can see that the S units go up. There's the wire. There's the vertical. So the vertical, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it gives you good omnidirectional coverage, but you know you, you suffer uh, a bit more noise. So on the broadside, the uh, uh, so there he's not on my broadside. So you can see a bit of a difference there. He's like uh, 20 to 25 over on the vertical, and on the wire he's down, you know, just just slightly over nine. So there's a big difference there between the two of them, and a lot of that comes down to. Uh, to the, the actual uh, uh, location versus the orientation of the antenna. So that's kind of it for now. I just wanted to cover that uh, two light SWR indicator for, for open wire or for uh, balance line. Uh, it's kind of nice to, to have, uh, you know, give you an idea of, of how uh, your antenna is performing and more so if it changes for whatever reason. So that's it for, for now. This is uh, Say 7-3s. It's Victor Echo 3, Papa Charlie Papa, Rob in Tiverton, Ontario, and we'll see you next time.